final time with a very smart haircut on top of his head. Well done, Lee. Big smile as well. Thank in you. Seventh place, not just good at tennis. It's Andy Murray. Andy Murray coming up there. Fantastic driving all day long for Andy Murray. And put your hands together, please, ladies and gentlemen. These are the fastest drivers here today. Okay, Steve. In sixth place, we've got one of the UK's up and coming drivers, Kai Granger. Kai Granger has had a fantastic event here today at the Order Sports Show. Big smile, guys. Come on, put your hands together for him, please. Thank in you. In fifth place, we've got. A a driver that switched teams, it's Chris Gunter, he's moved to Schumacher. From Associated to Schumacher, there he is, learnt his craft from Judy Walker, the missus. She's told him everything to do in this final shootout. In fourth place, we've got world champion, current national 112 circuit champion, it's David Spachette. Yes, it's Pachette or Spash it, Spash the Blash as we call him, there he goes. He's only 14 years old, but look at that face, absolutely brilliant, dialed into the groove. In third place we've got Touring Car and GT12 driver, up and coming driver this, definitely on his way to the top, it's Sam Clifton. Sam Clifton from Schumacher takes up that Sealy Toyota, he's got a brilliant event, Sam Clifton on the driver's rostrum. Well done, Sam. In second place, we've got Mark Styles. Nobby Styles with the Yokomo t-shirt and car. Look at the look on his face. He's always puffing wind, but look at that big smile there. The Tom Onslow Cole look-alike. And the <laughs> winner of the Reedy Intersport Autosport NEC champion is Oliver Jeffries. Ollie Jeffries for X-Ray. First time out with the X-Ray today. Well done, Ollie. Thank you, Steve. We've got the cars on the grid as quickly as possible, please. This is the final race of the day. Get the cars down on the grid. We don't need the timing equipment other than the countdown. So we get the cars on the grid from 1 to 10. Final race of the day. The final shootouts. And these guys are dialed into the groove. This is the fastest 10 touring cars we've had it's all the way through the weekend. Reverse grid. 10 at the front, 1 at the back. It's a reverse grid as well. So car 10. Yeah. Car, car 10 in pole position. Reversing the grid, it makes the winner give him all the work to do. The so Ollie Jeffries has the already back. picked up the championship, so yeah, that is a good call. So we've got a reverse grid here, so car number 10. It's a Jeffries sandwich. We've got Tom Jeffries at the beginning and Ollie Jeffries at the end. So uh, it's, a, it's a Jeffries sandwich, a club sandwich right on the, uh, the, on the grid to finish with. So, uh, and you can see them, they're not even standing together. Ali Jeffries with his, uh, he's biting his lip here. Okay then drivers, I think we're getting all sorted, so we need uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, so yeah, that's it, it's easy to sort that out, so... Uh, Ali Jeffries at the back there, Dave Spashik and Mark Stiles, all driving the works Hondas, Tom Jeffries with his works Honda in pole position. Stand by, here we go. 10 seconds, the final 10 seconds countdown, the nerves start building, the tension is here. Big audience appears for the final race on the Autosport Show for the NEC on the BRCA stand. Tom Jeffries in pole position with car 10 and off they go. Orchestrated move or not, but no shoving or pushing. These guys got to work it together. And this is probably the cleanest start we've had all year. And we're only three weeks into it. Oh, big wide moment here. And uh, Merv the Swerves up into that second position. But Tom Jeffries is away. He works Honda driver. Tom Jeffries with car number 10. Away into the lead now. Merv the Swerve just coming up into that second position. As he comes there with, oh, and a bit of a mistake there. And car number 7 moves out into that second position now. So it's Andy Murray. Andy Murray driving that uh, Clayson. We have uh, VW into second position in the shootout here, and this is all about credibility. This is all about uh, talking about this one when they get home tonight, and maybe for the rest of the year. Big crashing going on in this really shootout, the NEC shootout, the final drive here with uh, Andy Murray under pressure now from another works uh, drive car. Is that Dave Spash it? It is Spash it. It's uh, car number four. David Spash it now hasn't had uh, the victories that he wanted all weekend. The former British, European, and world champion, current uh, 112 champion as well, we're going to uh, Dave Smash it going in and outside with the orange coloured car right behind him, that is car number 5 and that car number 5 of course is uh, Chris Kuntner who's been driving brilliantly with his new Schumacher MI5 this weekend, swapped over from Associated last year and comes into a great finish at the Reedy International, so Tom Jeffries now on the clock, we've just got uh, 3 minutes and 36 seconds completed ooh and somebody, that's Sam Clifton's car parked into the scenery, he won't like that going down to ninth position on the track so uh, Andy Murray now starting to pressurise Tom Jeffries 
the older of the two uh, drivers and he just kisses the Clark curve as he goes down the hangar straight in towards uh, Gerrards and now Andy Murray is starting to put pressure on the uh, the race leader I do believe uh, and that is uh, I think it is yet yeah, Carl oh and Carl number 10 just loses out a little bit and Chris Gunter's coming up for a bit of fame and fortune but Spash the Blash is there on in the fourth position with Ollie Jeffries and the two works Hondas going down the hangar straight together further on down the grid where a gaggle of touring cars just oh but Ollie Jeffries has rolled it sorry that's Tom Jeffries that has rolled it and he said demotes himself from first to fourth on two corners and who is that part in the grid there that's uh, I think that's car number two yeah car number two that's Mark Styles and again a bit scruffy out there but look who's leading this the ex tennis superstar Andy Murray with Chris Gunter right on his boot lid and uh, going down the hangar straight towards uh, Gerrards up towards Druids now for the final couple of turns into uh, this particular lap and uh, David Spash it now. Oh, and Chris Gunter's pouring it away. Car number four moves up into uh, second position and going down the hangar straight now towards Gerrards and up into Druids now. Andy Murray must be shaking like a leaf on that uh, driver's rostrum with that uh, that VW car in front of the works Honda. The final shootout here. Dave Spash getting a bit tail happy on the clock. We've got about uh, just over two minutes to go. 120 seconds to go in this particular race. So Andy Murray, Dave Spash and Chris Gunter in that particular order as I just called it so uh, Chris Gunter back into the third position so uh, I can't I can't oh and the two Toyotas the two Works Hondas come together so it does look like Sam Clifton's back in the groovers now but Andy Murray still leading this race here car number seven still leading from car number four so car number four Dave Spash it on the clock here are we going to see an Andy Murray victory 134 on the clock 134 on the clock to go here comes your race leader coming towards race control now the VW car number seven Andy Murray doing a very good job indeed with that number seven car and number four in second position. The final couple of minutes are coming up now. We've got just one minute and 18 seconds to go. Talk about pressure with a former world, British and uh, European champion on your boot lid in the shape of Dave Spashit. There he goes down the back straight. Your race leader with the length of the straight between first and second as they come up behind traffic now. We're into the final minute of racing here at the Autosport Show on the BRCA stand. The Reedy International format for touring cars and these cars are replicas of the uh, 2013 touring car British touring car championship a lot of crashing going in front and uh, that's uh, that's not the uh, Andy Murray wants to see those that's the race leader just coming back beyond the black BMW and another works tire a works Honda he's got to get past as he goes into uh, Gerrard's for what's going to be three more times 35 seconds to go here here comes your race leader through the chicane with another works Honda in front of him. Dave Spash is closing up now. The fastest lap going, of course, to I think it was an a 1408. That is a 1406 for Ollie Jeffries. He's coming back mighty quick, but he's left it too late. Too much traffic. 17 seconds to go. Where is the race leader? Just going around the Clark left hander. Now round copies down the hangar straight towards Gerrard's. Through Gerrard's onto Gardards and up towards the Brooklyn complex here. Gets through very luckily through uh, some tail enders. Three seconds to go. Andy Murray's going to take victory goes over the line it's a win for Andy Murray in the shootout big big win that is a big big win for Andy Murray in front of the Spash and Chris and Ollie and Merv and Sam and Tom and Mark and Kai and Lee oh dear